Lesson number 26, Input, Processing, and Output Operations. By the end of this lesson, you should identify meaningful information as a result of processed input data by the computer and appreciate that certain devices perform both input and output functions. In previous lessons, we learned that computers perform various functions. One of these functions is to process data into meaningful information. We also stated that data is unprocessed information and that information is processed data. The following illustration shows how data differs from information. Table number one shows a list of football clubs that are based in Europe and their respective logos. Apart from presenting names and logos, the table does not give any meaningful information about the clubs. Therefore, the contents of this table can be classified as data. Data is unprocessed information. In most cases, data is not meaningful and it is difficult to interpret. Now, take a look at table number two. It presents meaningful information about the top 10 most valuable football clubs in Europe in terms of their brands between the years 2017 and 2018, respectively. You can easily read and interpret it. Therefore, this table shows representation of information. When data is processed by the computer system, it becomes meaningful information. An input device is a piece of hardware used to provide data to a computer used for interaction and control. It allows input of raw data to the computer for processing. Examples of input devices are scanners, microphones, the mouse, touchpads, the keyboard, digital cameras, and barcode scanners.
At this moment, we can discuss output devices. An output device is any piece of hardware which performs the function of retrieving processed information from the computer or CPU. Examples of output devices include printers, the monitor or screen, speakers, headphones, and projectors. Apart from input and output devices, there are also devices that perform both input and output functions. The touchscreen is one of the examples of such devices. A touchscreen is a computer display screen which is also an input device. It is used in modern devices such as smartphones, tablets, cash dispensers and vending machines. With advancing technology, touch screens are becoming more popular for devices that are used in shopping malls, supermarkets, and for check-ins. This is because touch screens are faster in performing input-output functions, calculations, and other tasks. Other devices that perform both input and output functions are disk drives. These devices allow you to write, save and retrieve or read data. Examples of disk drives are hard drives, DVDs and CDs. Note that flash drives also perform both input and output functions. Modems, fax machines, network cards, audio and sound cards also perform both input and output functions. The most common types of modems are digital and dial-up. A dial-up modem converts digital signals to analog and analog signals to digital. It enables signals to be sent through over a telephone line. Sending and receiving data using a dial-up modem requires a connection. Digital modems send and receive data over a digital line. Since there is an established connection between digital modems and digital lines, you can send and receive data anytime. 
Note that digital modems are also called wireless modems and are mostly used to provide hotspot connections in institutions of learning, offices, shopping malls, homes, and other places. A network card is a part of computer hardware that connects the computer system to a local area network and the internet. The connection can be done wirelessly or through the Ethernet cable. In most desktops, the network card can be slotted in the motherboard. But most laptops have network cards built in on their motherboards. A sound card is a component of computer hardware that provides input and output of audio signals to and from the computer under control of computer programs. Sound cards enable you to connect speakers, microphones, headphones and other audio devices to the computer system. Summary. In this lesson, you learned that the computer system performs input, processing, and output functions. You also learned that examples of devices that perform input functions are the keyboard, mouse, and the microphone, and that those that perform output functions are the monitor, speakers, and headsets. Lastly, you learned that devices like the touchscreen, Network and audio cards perform both input and output functions. Revision exercise A list four parts of the computer system that perform input functions. B. Name five parts of the computer system that are used for output functions. C. The touchscreen, sound, and network cards are components of the computer system that perform both dash and dash functions.